Hello students. Now today also we will be concentrating on NCRT based questions first of all. In our last lecture we have discussed a uh, few questions from NCRT uh, till question number 7 we have discussed. Okay. So today we are going to talk about question number 8. So what is question number 8 children? It is uh, write notes on that means we are supposed to write short notes on. So first of all is Adam's apple. Okay, so first of all, we are supposed to discuss about the Adam's apple. Now, what is the uh, meaning of Adam's apple and where it is present and what is this? Actually, we have uh, discussed and now I think you people are able to answer this question that what is Adam's apple or uh, if you are supposed or you are asked to write short note on Adam's apple. So, I think you will be able to write it as what it is. So, just think out the things what we have discussed. See in uh, puberty, okay, during puberty the uh, Adam's apple is just in uh, you know a protrude or outgrowth sort of a thing uh, in the voice box which grows, okay, which is which become visible. It become visible in the voice. It become visible in the voice and that is the reason why the voice of the boys are uh, like voice of the boys uh, is uh, different from the girls because in girls this is not developed, this is not visible, this is not seen. Okay, but when we talk about boys, this voice box it is uh, quite visible, it is seen. Okay. So, what is voice box? It is larynx. Okay. So, what is Adam's apple? When this voice box grows, it uh, it becomes visible from here. Okay. It is seen. If you see, uh, uh, if you observe, okay, the boys uh, in the boys, this thing here, one small uh, outgrowth will be seen. It will be visible. Okay. That yeah, some part is no, it's bulged. So that is the reason their voice is also what uh, little thick, okay? Uh, it is of low pitch. Whether uh, while in girls, what is there? It is not visible, and the voice of girls is what? It's very soft and melodious, isn't it? Okay, coming back to the point. So when we talk about the girls, what is there? The pitch is very high. Adam's apple is not developed, not development. It is not seen. It's not visible as in comparison to the boys, in boys when we talk about it is quite visible, it is quite, it, it, we can see it, we, okay. So, now we will write this and you know sometimes in boys if you have observed the voice you know become hoarse, means uh, in Hindi we can say that sometimes you know, it becomes like patabas, for few days it is like that, but after some time when the you know it uh, again gets said. And again the voice become quite you know normal uh, 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 voice, uh, uh, maleish bo uh, voice, something is wrong today. Okay. So what we are talking about, we are talking about Adam's apple. What is Adam's apple? A protrude in the uh, you know in the where? In the area, which area actually? So uh, we'll, we were talking about Adam's apple. So, it is what a protruding part in the throat, okay, it can be seen from here. So, now we will write about Adam's apple. So, I am talking about the first one, uh, no, number I will have to check children, number, which number it is, it is 8, 1 and 8, it is A of 8, okay. So, here we are solving question number 8, write notes on. Okay, in this we are solving A1. Okay, what is that? This is Adam's apple. Okay, so what is Adam's apple? In the boys, the voice box or the larynx is visible as is seen, which is known as what? Adam's apple. What it is actually? It is in protruding part. Okay. Uh, in the throat which is visible in the boys which is not visible in the girls okay and that is the reason the voice of the bo boys is little bit thicker 
it is of low pitch ok. So, we will just write this what is Adam's apple it is the voice box in the voice becomes more developed which is seen as Adam's apple ok. So, the voice of the boys is thicker or thick and is of low pitch ok ok. So, the boy see we are talking about Adam's apple the voice box in the boys becomes more developed ok which is seen as Adam's apple. So, the voice of the boys is thick and is of low pitch ok pitch, but whereas in girls the voice box is not seen as it is smaller than boys their voice is is of high pitch ok voice is of high pitch ok. Now actually then how can we say what is Adam's apple? So, it is the ok what it is children it is the protruding in pro what it is children it is protruding that means a part which is seen ok a bulgy part a bulgy or something outgrowth sort of a thing which is seen in the boys ok. So, what, what I will write? Pretty ring part in the throat is called as Adam's apple. Okay. I think this is very clear to you all what is Adam's apple it is a protruding part in the throat ok in the boys it is quite bigger it is visible it is well developed, but in the girls it is smaller it is not visible it is not as well it is not as developed as in the boys ok. And what it is actually it is a sort of outgrowth sort of a thing which is coming out in the throat region is not it something is coming out over here in the boys. And again what is the difference in the voices of boys and the girls? The voice of the boys is what? It is harsh, thick. Girls it is of high pitch and boys it is of low pitch. So, all this is because of the development of the voice box. One more thing children voice box can be known as what? It can be known as lar larynx is it it? So, this was all about the Adam's apple. Now, we will talk about the next short note. So, this was what 8a now we will be talking about 8b I think so. So, let me read the question ok. So, we are going to talk about now second is secondary sexual characters oh my god again they have asked about the secondary sexual characters see uh, we have discussed this thing while discussing one of the answer yes uh, at a previous lecture al lecture also what are the changes which is seen during the puberty 
what are the changes in the boys and what are the changes in the girls i won't write this answer children because we have discussed this answer uh, very nicely i think so see what are the changes the boys even the boys you know just now we have discussed one point that the voice in the boys is harsh it is thick it is of low pitch but in the girls it is of high pitch it is soft melodious isn't it and uh, what is the voice uh, is not harsh you know that is one thing then if we talk about the muscles in the boys the muscle get muscles get very well developed the shoulders become broader okay that even the uh, you know the uh, I, i should say the uh, growth the hair growth will be seen uh, in typical parts of the uh, body maybe armpit maybe uh, you know thigh region and all such regions pelvic regions so this is seen in boys and girls both okay then we have discussed that mammary glands uh, developed in the girls okay along with this the uh, region near the hips uh, become you know uh, little the deposition of fats takes place so uh, then the beginning of the menstrual cycle then also the release of the uh, mature um, eggs in the females okay development of the sperms or the production i should say production of the sperms in the males so uh, these are the points which we have already discussed uh, in previous lecture so i don't think so that i have to write this points so better i will leave this b1 and we will move to the c but again once again we'll uh, talk about this what is b b is about the secondary sexual characters now what are the characters even you know the appearance of the beard the mustaches on the fish on uh, the face of the boys the facial hair all these are the uh, symptoms of the secondary sexual characteristics so whatever changes okay children whatever changes are there during the puberty are the secondary sexual characteristics in the uh, which can be seen in both boys and the girls okay so why i am not writing because we have discussed this earlier also so i will move to c i will move to c now what is c it is sex determination in the unborn child okay okay so c is sex determination i'll write write with yellow chalk sex determination in unborn child okay so now we'll discuss about the sex determination in an unborn child see uh if we talk about i do not know about the other countries but if i talk about our country if i talk about india especially in india <coughs> in the uh some rural parts okay rural parts means what the parts interior parts of the villages okay interior parts of the country still women are blamed for giving birth to female child okay so uh, does it really depends upon the mother to determine to decide the sex of a child does it depends really upon the mother to decide that whether she is going to give birth to a boy child or she will be giving birth to a girl child does it depends really upon the mother no absolutely absolutely no <laughs> no no okay sometimes see uh, today is a day of wrong pronunciations i don't know something is wrong with my tongue okay so it doesn't depends upon the mother because mother is no one to decide the child will be uh, a boy child or a girl child then who decides on what does it depends upon see it even doesn't depends upon the father's wish isn't it uh, because it's not in the hand of the humans but totally who is responsible the males are responsible i'm saying this sentence children because the 
if we talk about the village uh, even you know in the in uh, the developed part of the country also you will find many examples who are cursing their you know the daughter in laws for giving birth to a uh, baby a female child okay it's not only that only in the villages or entire part of the country but many part many many metro cities also uh, in many metro cities also this problem is there basically this problem ex exists in our country okay so then what how and where does it depends how does it comes like what is there which decides that whether the child will be a boy or a girl so children we all know chromosomes okay we have read in one of the chapter in essay 1 chromosomes are thread like structure which is present in the nucleus isn't it chromosomes are thread like structures which are present in the nucleus of a cell now how many chromosome does human being has human being has 23 pairs of chromosome okay human being has 23 pairs of chromosomes now out of this 23 pairs 22 pairs are autonomous okay 22 pairs are same and these are known as autosomes okay now one pair is left that means 23rd pair okay 23rd 23rd pair okay or any one pair I can talk about so 23rd pair is what it is different and it is known as what autosome this one are autosomes and this is known as sex chromosome so what we were discussing we are talking about the sex determination in the unborn child okay that means what is that which decides that whether the child will be a girl or a boy so when we uh, talk about this in the nucleus of a cell chromosomes are present what are chromosomes chromosomes are thread like structure okay now we have got 23 human beings have got 23 pairs of chromosomes out of this 23 pair 22 pairs are same these 22 pairs are same and are known as autosomes now one pair is different which is known as sex chromosome now when I talk about sex chromosome it is different in male and female okay in male it is what in female I will write up first in female it is what children both the chromosomes are same that means it is X and X but in male what is there children it is X and Y okay and then the crossing takes place which I will be doing it over here we have discussed this before also so when see this is what this these are sperms isn't it okay these are sperms so when X sperm okay when X sperm fertilize with the female uh, egg then obviously girl will be there okay why because see female has both the same the chromosome and the female are same both are X chromosome okay so when sperms fertilize which one X X of male okay fertilizes with X of female so what will be formed children it will be X and X okay again when this X chromosome fertilizes with this X so again what will be there children X X chromosome will be there but when this Y fertilizes this X chromosome and then when this Y fertilizes this X chromosome then what is formed children X Y X Y is formed okay and we know X X means what female okay so female a girl will be it will be what it will be a baby or a daughter girl child XX again a girl child XY XY is what boy we all know so then it will be a boy so what is happening when X chromosome of what when the X chromosome from the male fertilizes any of the female uh, egg then what will be happening children when what I am saying when the sperm when the sperm which has got X chromosome the sperm which has got X chromosome fertilizes the 
egg of a female which has got X chromosome. So what will happen? 2X means what? Girl. Again, only when the Y chromosome children, only when the Y chromosome which is present in one of the sperm. Okay, when the sperm which is having Y chromosome fertilizes with the X. Okay, X chromosome which is present in the egg of a female. Okay, so if it is there, if it, this fertilization is taking place, then only a boy child will be there. Okay, again I will talk about this, I will write also. So, what is there? See, first of all, chromosome. What are chromosomes? It is thread like structure which is present in every cell. Okay, in the nucleus of the cell, the chromosomes are present. Okay, in journal, okay, human beings have got 23 pairs of chromosomes. Now, out of this 23 pairs of chromosome, 22 pairs of chromosomes are exactly same. And this exactly same chromosomes are known as what? 22 uh, same chromosomes are known as what? Autosomes. But one pair is what? It is sex chromosome. What it is? It is sex chromosome. Okay. Now, sex chromosome can be of two types because it is different in male and different in female. So, here... In females, we have got two X chromosomes, while in males, we have got one X chromosome and other one is Y chromosome. Okay, So, when the fertilization takes place between Y and X, then only X and Y will be formed, that means a boy will be there. So, now I will write the answer, I will just rub this. Okay, So, now we are discussing the C question of the 8-1. Okay, C question or C of 8, what it is? Six. See, I have rubbed that side also so that uh, if it exceeds, if it does not comes on one side so that we can move on the other side. Okay. So, we are discussing 6 determination okay, in an unborn child ok ok so we are discussing sex determination in an unborn child so children the the sex of the baby depends upon the <coughs> nature of the gametes which fuses to form the zygote. Children, what is the meaning of this? Please pay attention over here. We are discussing sex determination in unborn child. So, what it depends upon? It depends upon the sex, like the sex of the baby depends upon the nature of the gametes. Okay, it depends upon the nature of the gametes. That means, if it has See, totally, uh, directly we can say that first of all it will depend upon the males, okay. The gametes of the males that means sperms, if it has got X chromosome, it will be definitely a girl. But if it has got Y chromosome, Y the sperms, okay, which is being, which is fertilizing, which is, uh, okay, undergoing fertilization to form zygote has Y chromosome, then definitely it is going to be a girl child, okay. So, this is the meaning of this sentence children that the nature of the gametes which fuses to form the zygote. That means, it will depend upon the gametes nature. Nature means what? Whether it has got X chromosome or it has got Y chromosome. I am talking about what? I am talking about the males. Okay, now, in humans, 
23 pairs of chromosomes are present okay in human beings 23 pairs of chromosomes are present okay out of these 23 out of this 23 pairs 22 pairs are same okay they are same and are called autosomes autosomes okay and remaining one pair is different okay remaining one pair is different that is known as what children which is known as which is known as sex chromosomes okay that is known as sex chromosome now this one pair when we talk about now we are talking about one pair 22 pairs are same okay that is known as these are known as autosomes now we are talking about one pair this is known as what what sex chromosome now this sex chromosome is different in males and females okay so in males we have in females i will write first in females what we have we have both x chromosome but in males we have x and y chromosome okay so now what it is going to depend upon if it will depend upon this y chromosome if it is there then the baby will be boy after this i won't be writing then you have to write i'll be just uh, showing with this how it is being like how the crossing is taking place okay okay so here we have xx and xy now if the crossing takes place between this one is female and this one is male okay now if this x chromosomes are getting which this x in female is being fertilized by the x of male then obviously what will be formed x n x okay then x n x x form means what again which child it is boy or a girl it is again a girl child okay now again if this one is being crossed okay fertilized by this y chromosome then what will be formed children x here and y there so x y will be formed please remember xy that means what i will be writing over here a boy child isn't it boy now now we'll talk about this x chromosome okay now if this x chromosome is being fertilized by this x the sperm which is having x chromosome so what will be there children xx again a girl child okay now again the egg which is having x chromosome is fertilized by this sperm which is having y chromosome so what will happen x and y that means a boy child 
that means just see there are 50 percent chances that a girl will be there and 50 percent chances that a boy will be there isn't it so this is how the sex uh, depends upon the father sex of what children sex of a child okay whether the child will be a girl or will be a boy does not depends upon the mother but strictly depends upon the father because in mother both the chromosomes are what X only uh, it does not make any difference whether this is being fertilized or, being, or this is being fertilized what is uh, bringing the difference if this Y is there if Y is fertilizing the X over here then the child will be whenever the y will come ok x and y will come then what will happen a boy child will be there. So, just see children according to this uh, randomly roughly the chances are there that in this country the number of boys should be equal to the number of girls roughly randomly. But just imagine the number of girls are uh, very very less in comparison to the number of the boys then what is wrong where something like uh, where what is going wrong that means something is there which is unnatural ok or is the number of girls and boys should be randomly or roughly it should be around it should be same only but it does not happen is not it. So, there are many reasons for that because as uh, we have discussed that you know uh, mostly the people wants a boy child ok and if it is girl then uh, actually it is now illegal it does not happens now, but still uh, earlier or even in some part you know some cases if some illegal if we talk about if the, the parents come to know that the fetus ok it is a girl ok the child is girl then what is being done the child is being aborted that is the reason the number of girls are very less in comparison to the number of the boys, but one thing is very very clear that the child will be a girl or a boy totally it depends upon only the father and not upon the mother ok. After this uh, what you will be writing all these things in the words, but now I am not writing you just have to just out what have a, whatever I have discussed over here we have discussed over here ok. So, now we will move to the next one. Uh, this one was C. Now we will move to the next question before that please note this out, so that I can we can discuss the next question.